Hey guys, Michael Clark here with BAM Weather. We've got the latest on potential major hurricane Helene coming into the west side of Florida here over the next couple of days. Um, we've got models that are really kind of starting to, to come into a, a little bit more of an agreement, but we do have a little bit of a eastward trend in the track, which is not totally uh, surprising. We kind of talked about that yesterday. We have hurricane watches that have been hoisted across the west coast of Florida and the eastern, really, or half of the panhandle, if you will. Um, I want to get right into it. I want to show you the hurricane watches we have right now. If, it, if you see the, the bright pinks here, those are hurricane watches that go as far south as uh, almost Cape Coral and then almost all the way over to uh, Port St. Joe over here in the Panhandle. So covering a large section here of the, the Gulf Coast here in Florida. Okay. Uh, we're watching right now model data that's come in overnight. We do have recon flying through Helene right now looking for, um, you know, clues and information on the storm in and of itself. We expect in the next 24 hours to see some rapid intensification with this. Obviously, we'll keep watching. This is by Thursday morning. This is our HWRF, our high resolution hurricane forecast model. Uh, this particular model here just in a little bit ago uh, has this as a major hurricane just west of Tampa and Clearwater here by Thursday afternoon, and then has it uh, again as a major hurricane approaching uh, pretty much the Horseshoe Beach area, all right, of Florida. That's the closest point I can kind of call between Perry and Horseshoe Beach Thursday evening between about 5 to 8 p.m. as a major hurricane, okay? Um, that is one particular high-res model. This is another one. This is Thursday, 5 p.m. Again, this would still be a, a major hurricane not as strong as the previous solution I've shown you here, all right? It would still be a major hurricane with with plenty of, of, of issues. It's a little bit further west and it would go right into that Perry, Florida area for landfall. Okay. One thing I'm watching is the high resolution models. Each new run, you can see it, uh, the line goes a little bit further right with each run. Uh, every time we've got a hurricane that comes in through the Gulf and is, is, is threatening West Florida, this seems to be a thing that just happens with all of these. The latest run here of the h -Worf is the furthest right that again would take it right into that uh, Horseshoe Beach, Perry, Florida area for landfall uh, based on that particular run. And we look at the intensity forecast of these runs and we have uh, one, two, three, four, really four of the last probably six runs forecasting a category three to potentially briefly a category four hurricane uh, with this particular storm system. Now we are noting that the model, it's, it's initiating a little bit stronger than what it actually is. These X are the uh, or the verification of the, the storm strength for intensity and, and knots for wind. It's very close. It's not, it's not super far off, but that's gonna kind of happen until this becomes more of an organized storm system. This is what I was talking about. These are all of the multi-model ensembles from, from weather models all over the world. And you can see the trend east with each new set. Okay, we've got four runs here to compare to, and every 12 hours, we're going a little bit further east with each set of new data, okay? So that is certainly a notable trend. The hurricane models uh, that are in here overnight, again, you can see a large variety of them um, are east of that kind of that official, uh, that mean, if you will, but you see a large number of them really going into that, uh, right around that Carabelle or that Perry, Florida area. That seems to be kind of be the, the idea right now. Here's our official forecast thoughts, all right? Our official forecast map says, it is just west of Tampa and Clearwater uh, Thursday afternoon around 2 o'clock as a major hurricane. Category 3, 131 miles per hour or greater is a Category 3 hurricane. Thursday, somewhere between 5 to 8 p.m., it's probably making landfall. Again, I'm a little bit further east. I'm a tick further east than the official uh, forecast that you might be seeing on the mainstream media for a few reasons. I'm closer to that Horseshoe Beach area uh, for landfall right now, Thursday evening. Now, <clears throat> one thing I will say is this certainly has the potential to, to be a, a high-end major hurricane. Right now, we have some concerns with running into some wind shear, something like that, that may, that may cause this storm to not be as, as strong. Regardless, a Category 3 hurricane is a major hurricane. We're going to watch for a rapid intensification over the next 36 to 48 hours. Could it, could it be a 4 or a 5? Absolutely. Right now, we'll stick with a three Thursday evening and we'll keep you posted.